So as I said before, the most common everyday source for a story is the media release. And the media release uh, is, is a, a page of print information, somebody or some organisation or a government department saying something and trying to get that message to the public through the vehicle of the media. Media releases vary uh, from the announcement of a meeting by a local group of some kind to the sophisticated epistles churned out by the spin doctors employed by government ministers. Media releases are often the stuff of life in a newsroom, as I said before, hundreds pile up. Peter Beattie's media officers and, and minders can, can churn out more than 20 overnight. So you come in the newsroom in the morning, particularly if, if, if Mr Beattie's on a trip overseas, there'll be a pile that big just of his media releases alone. That's, that's in one night. So the news editor or the chief of staff uh, are people that, that get extremely adept at quickly scanning media releases and, and I've, I've done a couple of studies on this and, and it's a matter of three, an average of three or four seconds that, that a, a, a news editor will look at a media release, bin it or say there might be something in there to chase up later. And uh, obviously from that most do end up in the rubbish tin. So what do you do with a media release? Well you ask yourself for a start, does it have news value for your audience? Um, is the content of interest to your medium's audience? Does it suggest some issue of deeper meaning? An information media release, like a local association is holding a meeting, can be run with a quick rewrite in your own style. Many newspapers, smaller newspapers, regional newspapers, run media releases verbatim. I can't think of a more horrific practice. Um, by all means, use them as a source. Verify them, and often verification is, is no more than knowing that so-and-so has put this media release, you know him or her, uh, they're having a meeting coming up, if it's just a small thing in, in a regional news, uh, that's all verification is through to, who's this fella, or who's this woman, let's go and find out, make a few inquiries, Google them, the, the usual stuff, and, and make sure they're right. I always say to, I always have said, as a, as a working journalist and a, and a news editor, always make a phone call and a quick interview to expand a, a press release. So you, you're not running exactly the same as everyone else and always try to get a, a different angle, I guess, than what the media release is, is saying and quote that person from your interview in their own words rather than the words in the media release. The media, the media release will always have quotes for you. Uh, with a political media release, look for the different angle on the issue on which the, the release is based, as I said. Find a person with an opposing view, the opposition maybe, uh, to get a differing opinion on the, on the record. So it builds up into a, a compound story, a more interesting story, a story of balance, even though it was originated in a media release. And call the person quoted in the media release and put some of the concerns by that third party as you build it up to, uh, into a compound story. Uh, if the opposition person has raised some issues about this particular thing, uh, put them to the to the person quoted in the in the media release, and uh, all of a sudden that story has, is differing quite distinctly from the original media release. So that's about that for for this week. So uh, the uh, first quiz is now online. Have some fun with that. It's certainly not hard this week, um, but have a go at it. And again. I'll be talking to you in the next module. Thank you.